This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can retrieve the current date and time using the user's current locale, which is quite nice when you are creating an app that you want many users to feel at home with. Anyway, to get started, we're going to import from date time the date and time, and then we need to import locale. And for this example, I'm going to create a function called getDate. And that's going to return to us a formatted string containing the date and time. You can also return a date object, but for this example, I'm returning a nicely formatted string that contains the information of the current date and time. Next, we need to create something called user locale, which is going to be a tuple of type string or none, so an optional, then add a comma and do another string or none. And that's going to equal locale.getLocale. And for those of you who don't know how type annotations work, you can safely skip this part. It's not required to make the program function, but if you enjoy the benefits of type annotations, this is how you would annotate it. After we get that user locale, we can now try to set it. So try, and here we'll type in locale.setLocale, and we first need to specify the locale.lc time as the first argument. And this is just a locale setting in Python that controls how date and time information is formatted and displayed according to the user's regional and cultural preferences. And then we need to pass in our user locale. And just to demonstrate what this actually returns, it's always nice to print that variable. So very quickly, I'm going to create an accept block, add an ellipsis just to pass it, and type in get date, just so you can see exactly what the user locale actually contains. So right now, if we were to run this, you'll see that it's going to first contain the information regarding which language I have my computer in or my locale. And then it's also going to contain the coding information or the encoding information. And I just wanted to show you what that was before we move on. So now we can safely delete that and continue with the accept block, which is going to catch a locale error. And this is going to handle invalid locales. So for whatever reason, if a computer gives a locale of English, 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 or something like that, something that just doesn't make sense, the program is going to encounter this exception. It has to be something that actually makes sense for this to work, such as English, Great Britain. But in any case, if we encounter this error, we want to print a user-friendly message that the locale of user locale is not supported on your system falling back to the C locale, which also means we need to set it to the default locale. So locale.lc time, and here we're going to specify C. And as I mentioned, the C locale is just the default locale for C programs. It represents a basic culture neutral locale that provides a standard way of handling data such as dates, times, numbers, and strings. Anyway, with this information, we can now type in today, which is going to be of type date time, and that's going to equal date dot now. Because if everything went well in the try block, that will mean that we are finally using the current locale of the user. And all that's left to do is to specify how you want to format this. To keep it very simple, I'm just going to return the f string and pass in today and use this format specifier, which is percent %x. And there's a huge list of format specifiers that you can use to format your dates. And I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description box down below in case you want to get experimental or make your own or whatever. But using percent %x is going to give us this output. Or we didn't get anything because we need to actually print this get date. But once we print it, you'll see that we're going to get this output, which is the current date in my current locale. And that's quite nice because the date is displayed first, then we get the month and then the year. If I did not have this whole block inside here, for example, if I were to just get rid of the locale and pass, you'll see that I'm going to get the American formatting of the date, which would be incredibly confusing if I had something such as 0708. I would think it's the eighth month, not the eighth day. But with the locale, we don't have that issue anymore. We have our date formatted in our current date and time. And to make this even more explicit, we can use percent %c and we'll get the full date and time according to the standards of Great Britain. So yeah, that's all it took to get the current date and time in the user's locale. 
Do let me know in the comment section down below whether you have an easier way of doing this or whether you have any questions regarding all of this. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.